He has been running continuously since 10 o'clock Tuesday morning. But Victoria's ultramarathoner Al Howie is a determined man, and the end of his record-attempting odyssey of endurance is now finally in sight. Al expects he will reach his goal by late tomorrow afternoon, but he has already succeeded in his efforts to help the Victoria bid to host the 1994 Commonwealth Games. More from Bruce Kirkpatrick. It is damp and clammy at the track at UVic, the kind of weather colds are made of. But for Al Howie, the cool weather is good. He doesn't overheat and is able to stay relatively alert. He has now been running for three and a half days. His goal, 353 miles, 1,410 times around the track to beat the old continuous running record set by a Swedish man in 1980 and to bring attention to Victoria's bid for the 94 Commonwealth Games. One minute you feel really bad, and the next minute you feel all right, and I'm in an okay spell at the moment. As with any great endeavor, there is sacrifice, and in this case, Al is not alone. He was only married last Sunday, and his wife, Claudia Cole, has been with him throughout this long ordeal. He's extremely tired. I, I can't see how somebody who's that tired can keep going. Will he be able to make it? I think so, because uh, I don't think it'll kill him, and that's the only thing that would stop him. You've only been married a couple of days. It's not a very good way to spend your honeymoon, is it? Sure. <laughs> well, you get, to, you get to know each other. <laughs> he drinks a special high-protein concoction and sometimes a bit of solid food when offered by a friend. He hopes to complete his run about noon tomorrow. I'll probably um, pass the old record um, maybe around noon and then it'll go for a few more hours. How can you do this without sleep? It's amazing. I don't know. Sure would like to sleep. <laughs> Al is averaging five to six minutes a lap right now and welcomes companionship. He'll be at Uvic Centennial Stadium all night tonight and tomorrow morning if you want to run along. And each time the horn sounds, he's closer to his goal and his bed. And tonight Al is continuing his quest and with every lap his goal draws nearer. He's now been running 85 and a half hours. He's lapped the Centennial Stadium track more than 1,190 times. He expects to break the endurance distance record at 5 or 6 tomorrow afternoon. Al had plenty of volunteers running along with him tonight. When UVic President Dr. Howard Petch and Athletic Director Ken Shields left Victoria tonight to join the Commonwealth Games Committee in Montreal, they took with them a petition with 28,346 names calling for the Games to come here. By Monday, there could be 30,000 names. Now he is raising money and awareness for the game's bid, and it should be quite a scene when he finishes his run tomorrow. Then we have to wait until Tuesday to find out which Canadian city has been chosen. ...a gathered to watch Howie break the world's record for endurance running yesterday afternoon, while others set up a banner to mark the moment they'd all been waiting for. How do you feel about this being your honeymoon now? I forgot all about that. That's not important. <laughs> Howie completed 1,422 laps, all told running more than 360 miles. But breaking the record wasn't enough for Al Howie. There were still over three more hours of running for the ultra marathoner. Howie enjoyed the taste of victory and the taste of champagne. He also received the congratulations of the city through Alderman Whitey Steverson. Well, Al, I think what you've done is proven that uh, this is a sports city. Yeah. A great location, great people, the support you've had here. I think, hopefully, I wish it was bigger and better, but, you know, to have people out here in the middle of the night like where you've been running, it's been yeah. very difficult. But uh, I can tell you the hearts of everyone is uh, in this area behind you. And, uh, we just want to congratulate you. The record is set. It's fabulous. Yeah. And uh, I certainly, I know I speak on behalf of everyone that we're very, very proud of what you've done. I'm pleased I can do it. Thank you, Al. Thank you. Howie finally stopped running at about 7.45 last night as a new world record holder. It's safe to say his record will likely stand for a while.